So today our problem is to print a binary tree in post order traversal. So we have print a binary tree binary tree using post order traversal. So but the question doesn't end here. The extension is that you have to use iterative method. Okay. And this is the basic problem here. So we know very well that it's almost the first lecture of any binary tree tutorial that you will learn about in order pre order and post order tree traversal using recursion. But here the thing is that you have to print a binary tree in post order using iterative method. Okay. So let's first just try to find out what is the simple recursive method. So we write void. So post order. And then we do struct node star node so we pass the root pointer to this function and then if node is not null so what we do we do post order node left and then we do post order node right and finally we print the node data okay so this is the basic post order traversal of a binary tree and if we see the example let's say we have 10 5 20 then what will be printed so if this we will pass this root as the pointer so it will go to the if node is not null it goes to post order node left it comes here it again calls post order node left this is null then calls post order node right this is null so it prints value 5 now then it goes back to root node 10 the left post order is called already so it now calls post order node right it comes here as its left and right child are null so it prints 20 and then as left child and right child of node 10 is printed now then itself is getting printed. So this is the post order traversal. So now the question is we have to do it without recursion. So what should be our approach? We have to do it in iteration using iteration. So first we see let's try to find what data structure can we use. As recursion is also a kind of calling functions and we call a function from a function then that function itself calls function so one thing that we see is that this is a candidate for stack the first thing data structure that should come to our mind is stack and we should use stack and whenever we are trying to solve a bigger problem so let's try to solve a much simpler problem which is just printing this small tree with three nodes so we see that okay stack is being used so what I do is if I just use one stack will it do so I come to 10 I push a 10 here then let's say because I was doing the left node first so I put 5 here and then a 20 so and I pop it out so I get 20 5 and then 10 so this is are uh, not correct basically because this, these two are not in the order even though 10 is fine. So we see that okay if you just push in this order so it will not work. And one more thing is that even when we are calling recursively so we have to handle if I have gone to 5 and then if it had a few children like two and seven so what should have happened so i will push something into the stack so 10 will go 
then it will come to 5 then 2 then 7 it will be done then it can push a 20 so if we pop out it will be something like 20 7 2 5 and 10 so even if we see these three nodes so 5 is getting printed in the end 7 then 2 so what is happening here is again so we see if we had done this subtree using post order traversal it should have been 2 7 and 5 but again we are getting 7 2 and 5 so how to correct this thing so one stack is not giving us the solution okay so we try something like a two stack so again the tree is 10 5 and 20 so trying to solve the very simple question so let's have one stack so i push 10 in it and we were seeing that its left and right child were getting reversed the order so what we do is now i know that okay 10 is the last on the thing to be printed so i push this i now try to use two stacks and i push this here so 10 comes here and it goes out of here so now what happens and i get children of this which was getting in using one stack it was getting in reverse order so i push five left child then a right child but i need to reverse it so i push now the right child first here so that when i pop out from this stack it should be printed in the reverse order so somehow i try 20 here i push 20 it has gone from here and then it's left and right child are not there so that's fine for now so i now because this is gone so i now have five here i push the five also to the second stack so now if i print it will be 5 20 and 10 so we get something like yeah our method is working now for at least three node a very simple binary tree let's try to add like in last example so one and six we added so let's see is it working now so what happens now let's try to follow the same procedure we first push 10 into the stack first stack let's say this is s and this is output so what i do i push 10 here then i pop it out and push it into this stack i see that it has a left child and a right child so i push its left child first and then its right child here now what we have to do is that again when we have to print the post order traversal so whatever is in the right should be in the should be pushed first so that it goes down in the stack and it will not be printed first so what we see now we try to push 20 whatever is on the right side it should go here so i push this out and it comes here and then what happens so 20 comes here and then it has no left and right child so i don't push something here but 5 i push now 5 i push it here so 5 has its left and right child so what happens now i push 1 here and 6 so now again we see that 6 1 and 6 are there so i pop them out so 6 comes here and 1 comes here okay so now if i see so if i pop out so it will be 1 6 5 then 20 and then 10 and even if you do post order traversal so we are here we go to left then again left is not null i come here so and now this has left and right as null so 1 then 6 and then it comes to 5 then 20 and 10 so we see this is the post order traversal isn't it again we are now becoming sure little bit and just confirm it i add here a 40 and here a let's say 15 and let's see if our algorithm is still working 
okay so we try out it for some little more bigger tree and we try to see if our algorithm is still working so what happens i come here and push a 10 so i push 10 here and then because now the stack is not empty i want i push it to the output stack because 10 is the last thing at least i know that in the output stack 10 should be in the bottom then i push 5 and 20 isn't it but with this stack what happens 20 will get printed first which we don't want so i put it in the reverse stack which will be going to be output so i put 20 here by popping it out from s but now i see whatever is there here they should be printed only after the left subtree has been printed so that's why i should now cover all these things here so i should push the child of 20 no 20 so that they also are processed and are pushed down the stack so that they are not printed first that is our approach so i now push 15 which is the left child because i always want the left child to be printed first so that's why i am pushing in this stack in the reverse in the left child first and then a 40 here okay so now what happens is now i push 40 here so that it will be printed later this is the right child it should be printed later now as it has no left and right child so i don't need to put anything here now i should pop out so that these nodes are processed and they go on the bottom of the stack so that they are printed later so i pop out 15 it comes here 15 has also no child so now these three things are popped so only one element left is five so i pop this thing also out and now what happens i push the one and six here why one first because when it goes there so six will be popped out first which is the right child and it should be printed later so six comes here six goes out of here and then one is popped and pushed into the output stack so now i'm sure one is the first node that should be printed and here we see again that is happening then six should have been printed not five so that is also happening then five so let's try to write the output so it will be one six five fifteen 40 20 and then the final node 10 and we see that this is the correct output because in post order what happens i come to the root then i go towards the left child 5 then i go to its left child 1 that is what is happening here then it goes to the right child 6 is getting printed then now both left and right child are done so 5 is getting printed now i again come back to 10 but because this is the root node it gives its way to the right child which is 20 but 20 now from here it goes to 15 15 is printed it has no left and right child so it goes back to 20 from there it goes to 40 40 is printed then it comes back to 20 now its left and right child are done so it prints itself and then 10 both its left and right subtree are done so it prints itself so this is perfectly now fine and this is about the post order traversal okay so this is what we wanted and what are the data structures so now we have done with the concept so now i should put this is one stack and this is another stack which is let's call it output stack okay so now what our code was that we were pushing one element the root first and then we were pushing it into this stack s and then we were popping the stack from stack s and putting it into the output stack till this stack was not empty and here what we were doing if the it had left and right child so we were pushing it back to the stack s and so let's see now the code so this is the post order traversal using iteration we pass the binary tree root node as pointer and if root is null there is nothing to do you just return back else we make what stack of binary tree one is s 
and this is the output so i have used output name so one two stacks are there one is s and one is the output stack as we saw in the figure so this one is the output stack and this is the simple stack okay so now we push the first element in the which is the root to the first stack and then first of course i have pushed one root so it will not be empty so while s is not empty so i put binary tree star current so i get the first top element from it and push it into the next the output stack okay so we took out element 10 from it and pushed it into 10 into the output stack and then what we did and we pushed its left and right child if they are there into the stack s and that's what we do here so we popped out this element and then we if current left is not null we do s dot push current left and if right child is also not null we push them both into the the stack s and why we do that we push the first the left child then the right child so that the right child and then we pop back in the reverse order because now the, the element on the top which is popped first and it goes to the output stack so that it will be printed later so this way we keep on doing this so while the stack s is not empty so we get the top of it we push it onto the output stack because every time the right child will be going there and then the left child so now what happens this way we push the left and the right child and then what happens the because we push the right child later so it is popped first and it goes to the output stack and this continues till the stack is not stack s is not empty and finally when all the nodes are pushed into the first stack s and they are also popped out so then we do what output pop out all the elements from the output stack and we get the value so let's see for a small example using this so if we have something like 10 40 20 50 and here 5 1 and 7 so what happens now is we have this stack so two stacks are there and let's see what happens so i push 10 here while s is not empty so this is s and this is output so while s is not empty i pop it 10 comes here i have its left and right child both are not null so i push them here 5 and 40 then what happens again i see s is not empty now i pop out the this element and push it here okay so now what happens for 40 it has the left and right child so i push it in this stack these two lines so 20 and 50 comes here now what happens again i see is the stack empty no so i push 50 here by popping it out from stack s and now it has no left and right child so again i come here while stack is not empty so i pop out this 20 element here again i come here while stack is not empty one element is here five it is now so five is pushed here and its left and right child are pushed in the stack s so first one and then seven so what happens now while stack is not empty so first seven comes here seven goes and now one is left so one is popped now this is empty all empty so this code stops and it just prints one then seven then five then 20 then 50 then 40 and then 10 which is the post order traversal so I hope you understand now post order traversal of a binary tree using iteration and if you like this video please subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it among your friends.